Hey, let's welcome in Kevin Adams, general manager of the Buffalo Sab Sabres. Uh, Kev, thank, thanks so much for doing this. We know uh, uh, this time of year, especially for a guy in your position, is is real busy. How how did you manage to to give us a few minutes? Uh, we assume that your your phone's <laughs> ringing ring, ringing off the hook here. Well, you know what, uh, Kipper, my first NHL training camp treated me amazing and uh, as one of the veteran guys. So whatever <laughs> Kipper needs, uh, I'm here for him. Oh, man. Now I'm a full Buffalo Sabre fan. <laughs> um, just, just the fact that you've been able to get your team, Kevin, in a position to even be uh, in the mix here. Uh, how rewarding has that been uh, the last few months? Well, you know what? It's uh, it's exciting. You know, I, I'm I'm happy for our players because uh, you know coming into the season, obviously, we we knew that we're the youngest team in the league, um, and that's exciting. But we also believe in our players and know there's a lot of talent in our room. And now we're just learning. We're learning. We're growing. Um, but they put themselves in a spot where um, it's exciting coming to the rink, and these are good battles and good tests for us to, to learn and grow. So um, it's a lot of fun, and I think our players are embracing it. Yeah, and, I mean, rolling along the way you guys are, it brings up some questions for you that maybe you hadn't anticipated having. Maybe you do, but, you know, do you add now to this group and reward them, maybe give them some playoff games if you can get in there and the value that that would have for the young guys where do you stand on on that as an option for this group, or is it just sort of this is the next step in your guys' progression? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, to me, um, don't really look at it like um, kind of, hey, we're buyers, we're sellers, we're this. I just look at it as we're following along in our, in our, in our vision, the plan, and the process that we're in the middle of. You know, we're evolving as a group. You know, I think starting two years ago when we had to kind of reset this we knew that we were going to have to build you know around a core identify draft well identify talent and then you know retain the players that wanted to be here for the right reasons and that's what we're in the process of so nothing really changes in a sense you know if, if there's a way to upgrade our team and make a move that makes sense of course we're going to be involved mm -hmm. and in every conversation but we're also not going to just do something trying to skip steps or fast forward. And, um, you know, that doesn't make sense for us, you know, in the big picture long term. We're talking to Kevin Adams, general manager of the Buffalo Sabres. Part of the tough job that you guys have had, and I'm lumping all of you general managers, is um, hedging on future contracts in a flat cap era, Kevin. And, you know, sometimes you really need a player to to make you look good when you sign into a long-term deal. And I think Tave, Tage Thompson's made you uh, look like a genius, actually. <laughs> well, you know what? It's funny. I, uh, when, you, when you think about long-term deals, you know, there's so much that you're taking into consideration. I mean, clearly you have to start with do, do your, does your vision align, you know, from where we are as an organization and where they are as a player? Do you want the same things? I mean, that's really important. So you start with that. Then you then you are taking everything into account of what is their, you know, what are they bringing every day within your team, their their role, um, their statistical profile, their, their analytics, all that stuff you look at. But then some of the things you can't quantify are, you know, what are they like in, in their daily habits? You know, are they a player that you believe is going to continue to get better every day? Um, are they still – are they still – putting the work in no matter what type of contract they had that's going to give them a position to, to grow. And so those are all the things that we, we look at. And certainly with Tage, he checked every one of those boxes. You know, I, I really watch practice closely. I believe in practice is a big deal, um, even at the National Hockey League level. And for the last, you know, three years, I've been watching him do things in practice that, you know, I believe that this was going to be something that started to translate to games in the right situation. And he's got an incredible work ethic, and he's a really, really good teammate, um, so it's exciting to see him perform well, but I, I think it was a, a good deal for both sides, for sure. You know, the, the rebuild stage for a lot of teams, I think one of the tough questions is when do you kind of flip the switch? And you look at the Detroit Red Wings this past season, I think they added seven new players and said, okay, you know, now we're going to get more aggressive with this thing. What will you be looking for with your group? You know, I, it seems like you have amassed some real talent here. Good Lord, that the young defensemen that you have are unbelievable. What, what for you will be the signal that, okay, time to see if we can kick this thing into gear? Well, I think, you know, that's a really interesting question and a good question, but part of what I, what I look at and talk about every day is, 
you know, when you have, when you draft well and then you have the young players in place, you want to let them perform. And one of the things that we were really careful about this past off season was blocking the development opportunity from some of our young players. And I'll sure. use Dylan Cousins as an example. Um, you know, we could have gone probably out and signed, you know, a 28 or 30 year old that was maybe, you know, a centerman that maybe a little bit ahead of Dylan, you know, this last year at this time. But we were really wanting to make sure we were giving him every opportunity to take big face off, kill penalties, be out there on the power play and let him start to push. So I think that's one thing that we think a lot about. So you have to be careful there. The other thing is you, you want to, in my opinion, um, you want to round out the edges. But where we, where we believe we're going to take the most steps is by seeing our own internal group get better. Mm -hmm. You know, like Owen Power a year from now is going to be, you know, 21, 22 years old. He's going to be a bigger, stronger. He's going to be better. Dylan Cousins is going to be better. Jack Quinn, J.J. Paterka. I can just, you know, I believe Rasmus Dahlin is going to continue to get better. So that's, to me, where our real growth is going to come from. But you're going to certainly look around and see is there a way to kind of round the group out. And um, the core is really what we focus on. It appears that you've got a goalie in the future in uh, Devin uh, Levy, if I'm not mistaken, and yet you've got a guy in Lukanen that's in the net. Like, how do you how do you make sure you don't have another Allmark <laughs> somewhere in between uh, these guys? Yes, you know what you cut out is the very beginning of it. Sorry, can you yeah, say it again? Just I'm just saying that you, said, uh, you know. Uh, you, uh, uh, Justin Bourne just mentioned that you're, you've got uh, so many great uh, bodies at forward and defense, and yet you've got this prospect in, in Levi uh, who's considered one of the better goalies not on an NHL team right now. And then you've got your present goaltending situation. You know, Allmark was there, and now he's doing great things in Boston. How can you really sure where you want to focus? Yeah, okay, no, good, good, good question. I think... Um... You know, when I when I look at um, our group now, you know, this is kind of what I'm talking about. When you look at a player like Uka Pekalukin, and you know, we believe in him. We believed in him last year. We just knew he needed to get reps, whether that was going to be in the National Hockey League or American League, would play itself out. He's shown great stride, you know, steps and, and made some great strides, and now he looks confident and comfortable, um, regardless of we're playing on the road, home, the opponent. He just goes and plays and. So that's been a big step, um, and we'll continue to support him and let him grow. We really, you know, I, I'm glad you brought up Devin. I think we're we're really excited about this kid. I mean, he's uh, he was the player of the year in college hockey, the goaltender of the year last year. He's performing at an extremely high level again right now. Um, we're excited about the future. Um, but you don't want to rush that, so we want to take our time. And, you know, I think the biggest thing goes back to when you identify players that are here and they want to be here and they want to grow with you, then you want to lock them up and you want to get that done. And um, maybe that wasn't the case um, before with particular players. And, um, you know, that happens. But we want players that want to be here, and that's what we're building. I'm interested to hear you weigh in on Rasmus Dahlin a little bit. Just, you know, I was looking at his stats. This is his fifth NHL season. And I think sometimes when players are drafted, there's the frustration from fans like, why aren't they a star already? It takes a little time. Fifth year, and all of a sudden he is this guy who's in the Norris Trophy conversation. Tell us about his development and what has led to the giant jump this season. Yeah, Rasmus, is uh, he's wired it the right way. And if you want to be... You know, he doesn't come to the rink just, you know, come to the rink to show up and play. He comes to the rink to be his absolute best and be kind of what I was saying about Tage, where we want players that want to get better every day, and he has that hunger. He is ultra competitive, and he's always had that, but I think what you're starting to see is um, he's in his fifth year, but he's only 20, 22, 23 years old. Like, he's just now becoming – you know, big and strong that he might have been trying to do some of these things when he was 19, 20, 21, but his body wasn't ready for it. Yeah. You know, now he's six, three and a half and he's a big physical man. And so that's sometimes just your body has to catch up to your talent. But that kid has been a, you know, difference maker every single night uh, this entire season. And just, it's really, really fun to see. And he's, and he's just one of those kids that um, he loves the game. He just, he just comes to the rink. He wants to get better. He competes in a practice. It doesn't matter. He just competes, and I love that about him.